we get the globals. Uh, I scouted this bit earlier, decided this was the one where the pillars were closest to the base, enabling me to jump using the pillars that I'd already made. Yeah, the thing is, with the only having one pillar on those outside ones, I can do this. I elevate them up to uh, two levels. The one that you put there is obviously just completely irrelevant. Put a ceiling up on there. At this point, I would put a sleeping bag down, but I forgot to bring a sleeping bag. Because then if anything did go wrong, or say I fell off the building, or when I was looting it, I couldn't get out like efficiently um, without dying. Then at least I'd be able to spawn right next to my stuff, drop down these two stories, not take any damage, loot my backpack, and get the fuck out. Just trying to work out which side would give me the best elevation on your area. Now the top of the stairs is facing the building. This is the only tricky bit on it considering what I was carrying. For some reason it wouldn't let me place it even though I jumped and it was green. So I just had to go with plan B. Yeah, it just wouldn't let me do it at all. So I just had to do a sprint jump and hope for the best. This was meant to be able to enable me to get out, uh, but I didn't think this through. Because you'll see later, I have to make an alternative way out. That would have enabled me to get back onto the staircase, which is all good and well. But I can't get back onto the ceiling. That was the problem. So I walk out as far as I can on this pillar because it sticks out more than the wall. Put the box on as far away from where I want to place the C4 as I can. So that I have enough lean room to see what I do with this in a sec. Jump over, crouch. Shuffle like a tiny little bit every time. Until you can get where you need to place the C4. There's literally only one place you can place it. It looks like it's on the uh, the bar where the ceiling is. I, um, I wasn't sure if I was hitting the actual wall directly, or if I was uh, hitting the ceiling and the splash damage was damaging the wall. Uh, but notice how I brought spare boxes, because I figured obviously the larger storage would take splash damage too. Uh, so yeah, I put two down here, on top of each other. Just in case I was getting the ceiling, I wanted uh, the splash damage to carry through. Unfortunately, it was a waste, because the second one blew it anyway, there was no need for the third one. Now you use the same box that you've just used to get out there to press against. You just edge yourself slowly further away. So you just drop hug right and you're in. bit's the boring part, this is just where I went around looting everything. Bearing in mind I was on my own, it was more a case of priorities first and then the second trip was just going to be uh, anything else I needed. Trying to 
safe inventory space by throwing away what I'm wearing in replacement for the Kevlar I'm stealing. Research kits are always nice. On the second trip, this is rather funny, but there's a chest full of wood. I can't carry it all back because it's a huge waste of inventory space. Um, so on the second trip I had to just start turning them all into planks under the workbench. Yeah, that's the wood. <coughs> On the second trip, I came back, turned it all into planks so they could carry it out easier. It took like three minutes, and that's with the uh, workbench. Sneaky stashes, yo. survive that fall. If you hug the wall you can obviously reduce the damage by a huge amount or even not take any but because you guys had stilts you had to go one down just to be safe. That's way two of my precious uh, stolen C4 to get out of your base safe. downstairs a level, blew that wall, hooked this pillar, it gave me traction to the bottom of the base and then I fell the last bit, which is like two, two and a half stories I think I fell. So that's why I was kind of lucky I didn't uh, kill me. I broke my leg and took bleed damage, that's where I dropped, yeah. But I didn't take any impact damage, which was nice.